Hello YouTube. I just thought I'd cut this video out there for you. So I gotta keep you on the down low. So excuse me if the video is kind of moving around, shaky, and doing all kinds of stupid crap. Quiet! I tell you that's toothless over there. That dude there, it, it's hard to catch on my videos, and I don't know which one it was, but he blows the horn. He blows the horn whenever he doesn't. He just blew it while ago. Right before I turned on the camera. I wish he would be on point with it. Anyways, I'm going to keep you in the low cognito here, down low. Keep you on the down low, so when I get there, you can tell me if this is just ridiculous. Here we go. So I'm going over here and I want to get me a, a soda. Morning. Good morning. Huh. You know, I used to be able to look in the daggum glass and see what the hell it is I wanted to buy. But now, this is just wasting my damn time. How in the hell do you find out what the hell you want to drink if you can't even see it? You can't even see it. I mean... I must have run up down this thing like 10 minutes yesterday trying to figure out what I'm supposed to do. And so, I guess you just do this. Oh, it, if you walk up on it, it'll tell you what's in it. Okay, but what if, what if they're out? I'm just wondering. Let's go see if we can find any empty containers or spots. Oh, it says no more coming soon. Okay. I'm just telling you, I'm still wasting time. That has got to be the most outrageous, by far, stupidest thing I've ever seen or come up with. Or anybody come up with. I'll tell you what. I asked the guy behind the counter yesterday. I said, uh, what's the deal with the coolers? I know. I said, well, what's the purpose of them? Well, it makes it to where people can get online and find out what they have in there so they can come buy it. I said, okay. He says there's a glitch with it though. I said, what's the glitch? He says, it's a 24 hour delay. Now how the hell are you gonna find out any convenience with that system? Even if it's right then, right then. What are you supposed to do? Call the clerk, be on hold for 20 minutes, tell them you want the product so they can stick it up for you. Or maybe this is the just this maybe this is just the beginning of an era where they do speed it up and you call up there or you say you want it online and then you go up here and you do a curbside pickup and all that crap. You know, I just think today's technology is making people stupid and lazy. That's what I think. I think that one of these days you're gonna have all these electronic gadgets out here in the world and the world is gonna go boom. Everything's going to shut down. And no one is going to know what the hell to do. You know? Just like one time, my wife got mad at me because I didn't answer the phone. I said, what happens if, a, if I was uh, hurt or in trouble or something like that? I said, you know, I hate cell phones. 
I said, because, you know, back in the day when you were working hard on the job and you didn't have time to deal with bullshit, you know, if it was that much of a bullshit issue, you know, then somebody would say, hey, sir, you need to go to the doctor. Your wife's in trouble. And they would tap you on your shoulder because there wasn't no damn cell phones. And it made it much easier for no one to bug the shit out of you all day. You know, y'all leave the comments down below and let me know what you think of today's world with all this technology that's supposed to make us better. I think it's making us stupider. How you doing, Toofus? Oh, Toofus, get on. Just move over, man. Move over. Move over. Move over. Yeah. Move over. Yeah, this stuff right here, it took me damn 10 minutes to find that damn thing in there. And it, it don't even look real. You got to squint to look at the damn pictures on there. Uh, this is just... It's absolutely freaking nuts with this world. Man. Pretty soon they're going to have dresser drawers with the damn screen on them. You don't have to open up the dresser drawer. You just look at the screen and says what's in it. Well, there's already refrigerators out there like that. Somebody too damn lazy right down the damn shopping list. They get to the damn store and I see this lady looking at shit on her phone trying to figure out oh, oh, oh. And then she gets off her phone and says to her, to her she says to her son, look son, you have to be organizing that refrigerator because I cannot see what's in the refrigerator. And therefore, I cannot go shopping because you've got it a mess in there. And you put things in front of things that I can't see what's behind this thing over here because the camera is not a thing. You know, what happened to just moving some shit around and finding out what the hell you're missing in the refrigerator right down the damn uh, the, the shopping list and go to town and get your damn groceries? You know, it's just, it's just, man, it's so stupid the way the world's going, man. I'm scared, people. We're, we're screwed. We are so screwed. We are screwed, blued, and tattooed. We are. There is no help for us in the future. Our kids are growing up saying, it would be neat if we created a screen on a, on a, at the stores where you couldn't have to, and it saves electricity too. They won't open the doors and check out what it is. Bullshit. We look through the glass, we see what it is, we buy it. You know? Bullshit. That's, that's what I would, if I was up in the main corporate office, every time some kid come in there younger than me and I was an old man in corporate ahead of the world and all that other shit, hey, sir, can we put this in there? Techno Bullshit. That would be my favorite word for everything that everybody come up with that had to do with technology. Bullshit. Every time they try, bullshit. I would just be the, the head bullshit guy. Anyway, I'll see you later till next time. Lips are out.